guys, welcome back to my channel. So I want to show you my Egret Orchid, which has now finally bloomed, and you can see there's one right next door. It's really, really cute, look at all that. Wow. I think, I think they look great. And I definitely have some more, some more coming in very soon, and as I said, they were probably only gonna be a couple more days, and, and they, were, they were just gonna pop open. So I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like when they're all in bloom. However, I'm actually supposed to be going to California, have a little bit of problems out there so I have to go traveling for a moment so hopefully by the time I get back they'll all be in bloom but I did want to give a quick little update of the actual flower and the bloom itself as you can see very very tall and slender some browning leaves but don't mind that completely normal and there we are so you can you can see it's probably about it stands about probably I'd say almost two feet from the soil line. Very nice, very elegant. So it's this is also known as Habanaria radiata. And there's another terrestrial that looks like it. It's related to a jewel orchid, I believe, but a completely different name. But this one is just a regular variety. There's also um, Majinga and a couple others, some that are like variegated in, in the leaves and some that are like crazy. They have all kinds of like different kinds of bloom patterns, very nice, but however, this one is the standard one, but still incredibly beautiful. Almost looks like little swans or egrets. Completely white, just ice white, completely. Just, I mean, it's, it's as white as snow. Look at that. So cool. Can't wait to see what the other blooms are gonna look like. This one has two. The other ones are standard, just have one as well. The two ones could be very interesting. I haven't seen that before. I mean, it does happen on these species, but that's that's a new one for me. Let's see that one there. Really cool. So I guess this, in a way, is like a good representation of what to look for. So you're gonna see that in the first stage, right there, the one behind. You're gonna see that. And then we're gonna come to this. And then final end product. Really, really neat. There's no fragrance, but it's still an eye catcher though. In Japan, I mean, they, they grow these like crazy. I mean, it's like pots and pots full and you'll see thousands of these. And you know, they just grow it like it's it's nothing. They just pot, like pot in some kanuma soil and uh, some sphagnum moss and boom, they're, they're good to go. And they're ready for next year basically as well. As soon as they're done flowering, they're gonna recede back into, back into the soil and the corms are going to multiply as they probably already have but I'm going to let it dry out, but we will get to that in another video. But as for now, just wanted to get to the blooms and it's just, wow, stunning. It's great. Such a beauty. Totally like, like a white egg in flight. So neat. But that is it guys, just wanted to show you that. Hope you all enjoyed my little video. Please leave a comment down below and like and subscribe as always. And I'll be making another video soon when I come back from California. Hope to see them all in bloom and uh, I will definitely share it all with you when I come back. So thank you very much guys and as always, happy growing.